there are no barriers, there's no language, no culture that isn't touched by cancer. The focus was on myeloma, but it's really expanded into the doctors being able to learn from the patients and the patients learning from the doctor. The Arizona Myeloma Network uh, became an annual event and so we did them from, I guess it was 2002 or 2003 until 2020, until COVID. If I had to think of what our greatest achievement was, was the number of people who came to conferences year after year, who also got to know one another and would tell me about their friendships, that there was a support group that started at Mayo for myeloma patients, and then there were others. And I really I can't take credit in terms of that. It was just me or what we did. But I think it opened the doors, and it really opened the, the eyes, ears, and hearts of the professional community and for patients to feel comfortable talking about their cancer and being heard. People often say to me, what made you think of having a program for the cancer caregiver? It really was the result of 33 years of our marriage and our life living with myeloma, living with cancer, that brought this program, you know, to so many people and can bring it to so many more people because we found that not only did we teach others, but we learned also from others. And we also realized that having this online virtual program could really make a difference in so many people's lives. And we were very fortunate that we had 33 years and it was very sad and unexpected that he would not have a chance to live on to see all the wonderful things that are still happening but he died of an aneurysm he didn't die of cancer and he was a 33 year survivor and so many more people are living longer and having full lives and we hope that the inspiration and also the opportunity to have really good resources and early detection can help so many thousands and millions more. The important thing is, and I say this to so many people, live, live and love your life. And you know, if, if you can help people along the way, um, that's another gift. And uh, we used to say, because I'm Jewish, it's a mitzvah. And we all should do a mitzvah in our life. If we did more, if we thought about other people and treated them the way we want to be treated, it would be a better world.